Hello, I'm Dr. Nick and I'm the incrementalist and today we're going to be talking about lower and upper body strength. Thanks to Miriam Jacob for the uh, question about this. Her question, should we focus more on upper or lower body uh, when we're talking about muscle strength? Well, the first thing to note is whatever you do, uh, improving your muscle strength is a, a great thing for your health. Uh, there was a study done on uh, many of the folks from the 70s and what they discovered with the folks that took up all the aerobics, the running, everything that was uh, a big uh, push at the time, all appeared essentially to uh, be almost 30 years younger uh, than others that hadn't taken up the exercise. So number one, um, make sure you do exercise. But when it comes to upper and lower body, um, what we know is that uh, the lower body is all about stability. Um, that's what allows us to get around. So if we focus on the lower body, essentially the science suggests that that's probably a better place. If you were going to do only one thing, you should maybe do lower body. Um, the other thing that we also notice is because there's more muscle mass in the lower body, what happens is we tend to lose more as we age. That's part of the natural aging process. So the reason that we have to go through this muscle building activity as we age is because we've got to combat the natural decline in our um, muscle mass that occurs as a result of aging. So the science is not very clear. Uh, they looked at uh, lower and upper body uh, exercise and in fact what they discovered was uh, we decline more with our lower body mass uh, than we do with the upper body. But that could be a simple uh, correlation because there's more to decline and in fact it impacts men more because they have more muscle mass so they tend to lose more muscle. So when you go to the gym you need to include uh, both upper and body but if you were going to do one set of exercises uh, one of the things that I've read repeatedly is um, the, the focus on the lower body um, and in particular um, uh, the back and the uh, muscles of the leg, uh, very important and very helpful. But you shouldn't do that to the exclusion of your upper body. So don't hear this and say, okay, I don't have to focus on my upper body. That's also important. It should be part of a well-rounded exercise regime. And one of the things that I can highly recommend is some of these uh, additional exercise programs uh, in particular yoga, which I personally enjoy, and also uh, Tai Chi. So those are great strength exercises. They're good for flexibility. So incremental steps. Number one, make sure that you get out and do some exercise, even if it's just walking. That's a good thing. Weight-bearing exercise, as we talked about in osteoporosis. But when it comes to choosing, try and make a, a program that uh, splits uh, across all different areas. So focus on the lower body, um, and then focus on the upper body. Um, and if you only did one set of exercises, if all you could do in a single day uh, was one exercise, um, one uh, commentator that I uh, listened to said that he would always pick strength exercises and I would tell you pick the lower body um, if you could only do one, but try and make it part of a broader program. If I could ask a favor, if you like this video, if you could like it in the section below. Um, and if you had any feedback or comments or things that you'd like me to cover, leave it in the comments section. Otherwise, I'm Dr. Nick. I'm the incrementalist. Don't let perfection stand in the way of progress.